Hi guys, good afternoon. So let's go and check if anybody is coming before we start. So today I changed a little bit the the way the support on my telephone is uh, positioned on my desk so that maybe it's going to be a lot better to have you watch exactly what I do with the camera a little bit more perpendicular on top of the paper so you will see this uh, just, in a, just in a while so there are already three people that's good so how was your weekend? let me know mine was good watching Formula 1 and watching, of course, uh, the drama at the Ferrari stand with Vettel that just uh, that did not show how to be a champion and win. Sometimes you gotta be first patient and after be aggressive. Hi guys. Hi hi. Ciao to all of you. And then, of course, uh, Ray Coleman was uh, ec excellent to me. Uh, was really good. Too bad that uh, once again, Ferrari's strategy was not so good in giving him the opportunity to change the tires a little bit uh, later and give him the opportunity to be more aggressive at the end. So once again, uh, all right. So in India, we have a festival today. All right, Sidert. Explain to us what what festival is today. I don't I don't know. Can you hear me well? Because I did not put the the microphone. So eight people. We just wait uh, for uh, the magic number to start. And uh, today, what we're gonna do today? Well, you know what? Today, we're gonna go a little bit back uh, in uh, sketching, and uh, we're gonna start sketching a little bit more about uh, uh, a small tutorial about composition on page, which is very interesting, I think, for you to prepare your portfolios, okay? To show a certain degree of professionalism in the way you can present your work so that's the objective of today see it's like traditional festival of god all right so imagine everybody's happy today in india and celebrating good afternoon ladies from dallas texas all right from usa hi mauro diaz you welcome mauro you welcome Ah, it's uh, Krishna and birthday today of Lord Krishna. Okay, all right. So today I have learned something new. So today the topic, as I said, we're gonna do some quick sketching about compositional page. Okay, and then I will uh, once we have uh, several sketches on the page in a very nice. Uh, I hope I'll be able to make a very nice composition. I'm going to use some colors, some markers and uh, to give an accent and to create a sort of focal point in uh, making sure that you can uh, uh, feel that you can you can drive the attention of the person exactly on which sketch you want to sell well your ideas and of course therefore see all the rest and this is very important when we start okay when we start making ideation sketching before we go to the final renderings and final illustrations. So, 13 people, we wait just a few more minutes. Okay. Hi, Anil. Hello, good to see you again. Good to see you too. Thank you.
Okay, you know what? I'm going to change the position of the telephone camera and I'm going to put it there and I hope it's going to work. The way I reposition my mechanical support for the camera, hoping that this time you're going to have a better view of what I do, okay? So I'm going to do it now, okay? So I'll try to be very delicate. I see that a lot of more people are coming. That's excellent, okay? And uh, let's see. I put a mark here so that uh, so that we can uh, yeah like that is nice okay so I think that this time this way you guys can see better what I do okay okay take off my glasses and uh, let's see what we're gonna do all right so i gotta toyota in all old version looks better designed by pink face welcome perfect hi marcin ciao okay so Basically, when we do this type of sketching, okay, what we want to do is, first of all, I, I think that it's upside down. So wait, I'm going to turn. Yeah, I made a mistake with the camera. Don't worry. I'm just turning the camera, okay, so that you can see correctly. Okay, wait just a moment that, that I organize that I organize my scenario <laughs> here. Yes, I did rotate the phone. I, I saw that it was not so so good the way I was preparing it. A little bit more like that, maybe. No, more like this, okay. Yeah, what do you think? I think that this way it's uh, it's better. Okay, so uh, when uh, when we start doing this type of sketches, um, what we want to do? Wait, it, I, I prepare my my electrical sharpener. Okay. Okay, so what we want to do is basically we, we have an idea in mind, okay? Let's say that we have an idea in mind, okay? I'm still uh, moving a little bit. Yeah, yeah, now it's better. So basically what we do is that we, we just make a, okay, kind of... Uh, I make a very quick uh, outline, okay, so that I, I get a, an idea of my perspective, okay. Okay, and of course I... So this is very, very, very quick, just to have a sort of proportion, okay, sort of proportion on our, on our page. So can you see well now? And uh, now that uh, now that I have this sort of uh, shape, okay?
I want to start. Of course, I put always my center line, okay. And naturally, what do I do? I, I always exaggerate a little bit. So I'm requesting for you, make a video how to become a car designer. You say, okay, I will so can you make this video next time, sir. I am waiting for you this video. I hope make it quickly. Okay, uh, Subdip, yes, I will do this, you know, uh, don't worry. Maybe I can uh, sketch this, okay? And once this sketch composition is finished, if all of you guys are ready and you agree, I will make another video right away and we will talk about this topic, okay? Hey, Patrius, don't worry because we're just starting. We are just starting. Okay, so now let's imagine, let's imagine what, what, what can we do here, okay? So first of all, I, I, I'm looking for a face okay for a face and so i start sketching some shapes okay and of course when i do this i try to be very light with my I try to be very light with my line drawing. That's normal. Then I'm starting to hit a little bit better and a little bit stronger my my line work and of course I make some modifications so that I give a little bit more of design to what I'm doing. You see? Here I made a big difference compared to what I what I had before. I keep on having my my video stopping on my PC. So okay, anyway. So another thing I can do here, I have to decide uh, what about this uh belt line you see we can make a, a nice belt line coming down from the back like that okay so make nice big wheels of course that's what we love nice big wheels okay and um, just participation, you have loved the process because every master is once in this is once uh, cause every <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, so now I make uh, what I call the wheel well, okay, a little bit we need it so that we get a, a good effect here, okay. Same thing here in the front, okay. So I'm starting to change a little bit some details to make sure that I have something that looks a little bit more creative. Okay, of course, that's the objective. Okay. And... Uh, I hope that while I'm doing this, you are also, also sketching, of course.
Okay, for the moment, we can imagine that we'll leave this here, okay? As we said, this is just uh, research sketches, okay? You can imagine to put some stuff here, okay? Same thing uh, in the back, okay? Let's see, we can make something like that, okay? Can make this a little bit more around the back, which would be a, probably a little bit nicer. Make really fast back. Why not? Okay. Okay, so we have, let's say that we have our first little sketch, all right? No, 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 I did not design the room capture, Barati, no, it's not me. It's, uh, it's done by brilliant designers, colleagues of mine from the exterior design studio. Okay, so now that we did that, you know what, I can imagine here, just up here, just small, okay, I'm curious to see the back of this car, because now I have this, okay, more or less I know what, what, how it could look, and what about... Uh, So, what do I do now? Well, I try to look at this detail in the back and I try to imagine <laughs> that back. So, let's, uh, let's try to, to take that section, okay, very quickly, okay. I put always my center line. You know, even if the sketch is not perfect, you know, that's no big deal. What, what we want to understand is how how it could be that back end. And then we just go back and try to, and just to try to make it a little bit uh, better. Okay, so that we get the idea of that section and how that section is really affecting our back. We have a light that is doing basically something like this, okay? We can make it like that. And here we have a little bit of the shadow of the car so that we can have a nice feeling, you know? Okay, so that's a little quick sketch. So now we have the two views. Why not? I, we know that there are some problems, but uh, this will be next step, of course.
design is not about problem solving. In other words, design is the junction between creativity and art. That's very good, Sandeep. That's very good, uh, make artist. It's true. Yeah, How to Draw by Scott Robertson is excellent. It's really excellent book. If you want to spend less money, you can buy my ebook. But anyway, um, Scott Robertson is uh, it's an incredible uh, transportation design teacher, illustrator, everything. So go and check his. Uh, you can check his videos here on YouTube, okay, if you want, and I encourage you to do it. But on Facebook, he has a beautiful page, and also on Instagram, he is. Okay, so now here I want to try to make something different because I'm interested in this front end, okay? So it's basically something like this, like that. Then we have this and this, you see? So I'm trying to, trying to understand So what's going to be that front end? You know, is it going to be something interesting? I mean, new or it's, uh, it's not so cool. So that's what we want to. So to do that, we make that sketch. Okay. Maybe just that front end. Okay. Right, and then we can sort of start imagining. We can start imagining just some detailing, okay? For example, like this, like that. You know, what if this, all this is black? So let's do it here too. Starting to give a feeling of a front end, a face, you know? Maybe this, uh, this front grill, in reality, it's just uh, I'm trying to put some uh, shadow just to show you a little bit of the three-dimensional effect, you know, and then we can make uh, one side a little bit darker because uh, it's kind of bended in the center. You see? Can you read it? So this could be something interesting, why not? You know? And because all this side, it's a little bit in shadow, let's make it in shadow. You see? How does uh, an idea or inspiration from nature transform into a wonderful design? Where does the design process begin? Well, Pratish, you make a very interesting question. Thank you. Well, to be to be honest, if you see some of um, if you see some of those uh, early BMW of the seventies, eighties, they were inspired by the shark. And if you see a side view of a front end, uh, this area of a BMW of the eighties, and you see the nose of a shark, you will see exactly some. Uh, 
uh, some look alike, uh, you know, sections or, or uh, images. And of course, uh, this is something that is uh, very, very common. No, no, my artist, why are you saying sorry? Don't worry. I'm happy you made the question. Believe me. So, uh, some, sometimes that's, that's the, 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 the way you can, uh, you can get the inspiration from animals or sometimes from other, from other type of, um, of subjects. The thing is that you study that, you see the images, you see in different perspectives, you see the elegance, for example, some leaves or plants or, or stuff like that, and then you say, why, why don't I take uh, the, the motif of that uh, basic shape and try to adapt on, to a transportation uh, shape? You know? Hi! The captain is here. How are you? Leeds the Fallen. By the way, what's your real name, Leeds the Fallen? Because to call it the falling is not nice, to be honest. All right, so now if I do this, okay, and I do that, basically I have my front end here, okay. You see? Okay, so now that we did all that, I think it's time now that we take, a, let me say, a very light marker, okay? Hi, Rob. Uh, thanks for, for telling us. So, I will take a, a light uh, gray marker, number two, all right? And... Uh, I'll start to have some fun, okay? And let's see what happens, you know? So, here. 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 You see, I'm very sketchy, okay? I'm not doing a rendering, okay? I'm trying to be loose, loose enough that I can have also fun because every time we do a rendering, you know, there is also the stress. I have to make mistakes. I gotta be very careful. Oh my God, if I make a mistake, I have to redo everything. Here, we are not that way. Here, we are really having, trying to have fun and trying to experience some uh, creativity, that's all. Okay, so as you can see, I put the marker only on this one. At the moment, those two sketches up here, we just ignore them for them, for, for now. Tell about scope for transparent design on basis of which country you are working. I don't understand, uh, Sudar, I'm sorry. Reformulate your question, I didn't understand. The scope for transportation design on basis of which country you are working. I don't understand. Sorry. Put it in a simple, simpler way. Try to reformulate your question.
Okay, so as you can see now, I'm hitting darker, some spots a little bit darker, okay? And now I won't do anything anymore here. I just put a little bit up here. All right. Okay, so now I go back uh, Uh, yeah, Pratush, at the moment I used only a number two cool gray. Number two, wait, that I, I'll show you the number. Yeah. Number two, cool gray number two, okay? Number one is too light. Number two, you can see the difference between uh, those two strokes. It's always the same one. Uh, yes, they are pro markers. Yes, you can see there from Windsor and Newton. Right? They are very, very good. You know, I, I'm kind of uh, happy about, about, about them. Now I go back with my black pencil. Okay. And what do I do? Now I have uh, something that is darker here. And uh, I will try to give a little bit of balance. Okay between this part and the upper part, okay? So here, for example, I go and I make a little bit of shading. I try to be very... I try to do it right, okay? I'm not doing anything uh, slappy. So... I try to be very careful with my... with my, my, my pencil, all right? Here too. And here too. You see? Now we have a sort of a balance between those two and this one. We won't do anything to that one. Okay. So, now that we did, we did that, here I have to do something a little bit uh, stronger to make sure that uh, it's not flat, that it looks like it's three-dimensional. So, to do that, I take my black pencil, of course, okay, and I just hit a little bit stronger in this part, okay? Look, I'm not very precise, it's intentional. I make a shading, basically. You see? Dark, light, dark, very light. Okay. And I do the same thing on the glass area. Okay, so up there I will not touch it anymore. So the Mac artist, there is no scope for anything other. Way. Okay, you sort of make your own design vocabulary. You can create a new hole by digging the hole. Wow, you are a philosopher, Mac artist. All right. Carol, uh, Carl will design sketch and 3D effect about different angles. Carl will design sketch. Sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't understand Pandya. Okay, boom. So now what do I do? I take my black pencil and I try to rework a little bit better this, the line quality of our big sketch, okay? Because in reality, what do we want to do? We want to sell the sketch here, and then we have detail, details of the sketch up here. So, I go here, and I really start making my line work a lot better than it was before.
So now I work a little bit on top of the marker, not everywhere, just a little, okay? Because I want to create a better shading effect that it will give us a very nice, very nice effect. Can you see that uh, that reflection there? Not bad. And now that we did this here, I have to make sure that there is a good balance between the side and the front. So this is a little bit too light. So I go there and do the same thing. You see? Not too much. There you go. Yeah, but I know, uh, McCartis, I'm not saying that you are making uh, excuses, <laughs> not at all. So I, I take care of this line here, okay, then I give you a little bit of shading here, okay? Now, I just put a little bit of uh, our detail that we made here, and I put it here, you see? So you see, things start melting together. And now we have a uh, a sort of a, a better understanding of everything. Here also, I can do a little bit. And at the bottom, because we have uh, the shadow here and we want the, the, the car to jump out of the paper, what we have to do, we have to make all this part a little bit darker. So that's what I will do, okay, using another marker. And I will choose uh, a, a, a marker number four, okay. Always cool gray. This is number four. Really darker. And I go over the same lines I did before, only this time you can see that I'm not using covering all the lines, all the parts. I just leave a little bit visible, a little bit of the light gray and the dark gray so that I can create a sort of a contrast. And a sort of a shading. Can you see now? Hey, Charlie Emilio, I saw you are there. 
<laughs> How you doing? How are you? Then I can just go with my pencil and put some nice lines that will just complete the effect of uh, of a, a little, you know, sketchy, sketchy style of that car. And now, what we want to do here, you see, I put the center a little bit shifted because this, those wheels are in 3D, and this part is a little bit inside the wheels. Okay. So is uh, set of cool gray. Yeah, yes, Cedar. It's it's enough. Don't worry. You can add few colors with the color pencils, like red, you know, for some details. So if I do this, okay, and I do this, and I do that, okay, then I can imagine Very quick uh, just to make them a little bit thicker so that the proportions look better. All right. So now I'm trying to give a little bit of uh, shading so that uh, you can get a feeling of the three-dimensional effect of this wheel. So how line weight are considered? Very important, Linga, Linga Sharma. Line weight, uh, line quality is important. So that's uh, that's a, the first thing I say every time I I start. Okay, so you see I'm making this a little bit darker, okay? I'm going to do it, like uh, those are elements that... Uh... And then, according to the shadow, some of uh, the area of this dark part I'm making darker, of course. I can always a little bit of detail around the wheel so that it looks even more believable, even nicer, you know? You see? Zwatish, G, J, sir, I have a pen, sketch, color, paper, renders, alias model and clay model, except Photoshop. My pro is that okay? Yeah, I guess so. Don't worry. Photoshop, uh, it's not so important. But your portfolio, Zwatish, is for entry portfolio to get admitted in school or is to get a job? Explain to me. And now the last touch is just a little bit, but just a little bit, 
You see, of course, just a little bit done with the pencil, okay, so that we get a, an idea, a better idea of the shape. Okay, so what do you think? <laughs> so this uh, this can be a sort of uh, composition, all right? But then we can also do something else, you know? We can imagine to put a sort of... Uh, sort of background, why not? And then to make that sort of background, I will use a, a marker, of course. Uh, but then this time I will take a darker marker. Let's see what I have here. Okay, cool gray number five. Okay, cool gray number five. So for the background, all right? So let's let's start doing it. So I'll try not to I'll try not to go on the sketches, of course, okay? And then you see what I do when there is a bigger space. I'll try to be very, very uh, disciplined in putting the straight lines. Okay, now let's let this dry, all right? And then I'll put just, you see, over the glass, a little bit of those lines, because it is a little bit like a reflection, you see? The reflection of the background behind in transparency. Do you like that? You know, I like this type of stuff. When it happens that I can do that stuff, I, I really like it. But that's uh, really enjoyable. So. So, can you see now? I don't know if you you can see better that, that way. I'm trying to move uh, the pro markers are darker in value than copic marks. Is that true? Yeah, a little bit. Yes, Pratyush, it's true. Hey, Alex Lab. Yes, I'm doing fine. Thanks. What about you? Now, because I am doing, I'm using this dark color, what do I do here? I try to capture the same dark color and put it here. Look. So I just put a little bit of lines, not too much. You see? And it looks better because now you have a really good contrast. Now, what I'm doing now, I'm just wait, I just wait that all this background that we just put with this number five, cool gray, 
it's going to dry well because then we're going to go again with the number five to try to create a sort of contrast, all right? That's what we want to do. Okay, so let's wait just a few, few seconds. You know, of course, then every time we'd make a sketch, we would like to always retouch it, retouch it to make it perfect. That's the moment where we have to say, stop. Thank you, McCarthy's. Thank you. Pretty good. This car looks good. Thanks, thanks. Okay, now I think it's dry. Yes, it is. So let's go again and let's give another... another step with this dark and as you can see I'm not going all over I start from the center alright and then I just leave some parts you see Same thing here. Because if you want to create this effect of three-dimensional background, we must leave some spaces between the, the first stroke and the second one. I will show you because now when it's dry, you can see the difference. Look at this. And tell me what you think here in this area. It looks very nice. Yes, uh, for Ferrari it was a very, a real big disaster. <laughs> I agree. That's what I talked about at the beginning of this video. That's what I said. I I think that uh, Ferrari made a, I made they made mistakes. They made the big mistakes. They're gonna. I think they're gonna pay. Now I take a white, okay, a white Prisma color or a, uh, a Faber Castell white, okay. And I'm doing it because what I will do, I will do some lines here and here to make sure that we get a feeling of some reflections, okay? Some reflections. So, it's dry, okay? So I start, all right? So here first. Another one here. A little bit of reflections up here, you see? I'm just having fun, huh? Like there is a, a light in the back there. And then a little bit here. Okay, now with the white we finished and the last thing we're gonna do, and you won't believe it, but yes, we will do it. We're gonna put a little bit of white acrylic gouache just on some spots, okay? And this will be our final touch. Uh, Pandia, if you go on my channel here, you will find three videos about interior car sketching, okay? And you will see from the beginning until the end. So, I want to show you how I prepare it, okay? You see? 
I'll try not to put too much, unless it's gonna be a mess. But what I want to do, I want to create an ellipse when I put my gouache, as you, as you know. So look, you see? And I start, all right? We ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Then I, I take a little bit, a little bit more. Okay. And then look what I do. I put it here. Here. And that's it. I go wash my the brush, okay? Stay there, don't move. So, tell me what you think. Yeah, Mauro, exactly. That's what I learned in school. And of course, that's what we do when we sketch. There are a few things that you do. You see, there are not too many. Because the problem that the mistakes a lot of people do is that they put highlights all over. And those, I call them bird shits. And we don't want to do that. We just want to use those, uh, Mauro, to make sure that we have a focal, focal point, which is this one. So all the highlights are around this area, okay? Those are just a little bit of uh, glare or reflections coming from backgrounds and stuff. Okay, so thanks Robert Fernandez, uh, Drew Sudar, Chaos Tube, uh, everybody, thank you. Okay, so as you can see, this is a uh, this is uh, the exercise I I really made it for today. I'm trying to see how can I do to to get a better look. I'm I'm using my hands, okay, now because I want to make sure that you really see well. Okay. So that you can really see the whole composition. Then I will make a picture of this, don't worry. Okay. And I will... Uh... So, now what do I do? Okay, so. Now, here I am. I just want to... I just take uh, my, sorry guys, I just take my other support, this one, okay, this one I can take it off, you see, that's my arm, <laughs> and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the question that you guys asked me at the beginning, who, who asked me the question about car design, how do we become a car designer? So today is uh, 03, 9, 18. So I will make a photo of this, of course, and I will put it on, uh, on Instagram and uh, Facebook page, okay? All right, so. So what do you, want, do you want to know about how to become a car designer? That's the question that you asked me, right? Who asked me the question? Are you still there? Uh, Udemy, what is Udemy? I'm sorry, I don't know. Okay, okay, Sudip Day, yeah. Okay, first of all, let's go in order, okay? First of all, I want to show you again like that. Here we can see really well. No, it's nice. 
Huh? So far, so good. You know, that's a nice composition. Not too complicated. With this, you can uh, you can communicate your ideas. Yeah. Uh, okay. Mm. Uh, 33 is too late, Fedi. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I, I'm very honest with you guys. Uh, don't ask me to tell you, ah, don't worry, you're gonna make it. Uh, just uh, work hard. No, there are some, some things that um, unfortunately are not, uh, can I say, you, you, you must take into account. So how do I, how do I became, how, uh, how I did to become a car designer? Uh, today we cannot really compare the way I did the way you can do it because uh, back then there were no information, there was no internet, there were not so many industrial design studios, there were only few, few, few design schools and therefore it was very complicated to become a car designer. For some people like me in Italy, from South Italy, I was really far from all this uh, information about this job, even if I was in Italy, which is uh, the country of uh, Giugiaro, uh, Pinfarina, Bertone, all those maestros of, of the past. However, today you have uh, a lot of some opportunities to uh, get information. You go on Google and you get information on all different design schools. You can find, if you search on Google, or lots of articles that will explain to you how to do to do to become a car designer. I wrote uh, several uh, articles, I think about 10. And I wrote uh, many articles about how you prepare yourself to become a car designer. And also how you have to plan your design school career in order to get the right moment at the right time with the right portfolio. But the most important thing that uh, uh, that you have to consider is that when you want to become a car designer, the first question you have to ask yourself is, do I have the talent to be a car designer? Because to be a car designer, it's not something technical that we can just learn. To be a car designer or a design, a designer in general, okay? means that we have a, a talent that is a sort of an artistic talent that has to be helped with different types of skills in order to express our ideas. So this is the first point. And uh, the best way to understand if you uh, if you can uh, become a car designer or if you have a talent is of course to have a, uh, you, you, you should have uh, of course um, someone okay an expert I don't I don't call I don't I don't think that I am an expert okay even if I have 30 years of experience but there are a lot of people better than me like Scott Robertson for example uh, Neville Page uh, Michele Leonello uh, just to, to, to cite uh, an Italian name uh, from the SPD Design School in Milano and uh, other designers that uh, have a sort of uh, exchange online with uh, young people like you. So you just show your drawings, send some of your drawings. I don't want to say you have to show all your portfolio or all of your drawings, but if you show me six JPEGs, six images or four, few sketches as something in color, I can tell you, according to my experience and my past as a teacher in design school, if you have a talent or if it's better that uh, you don't waste your time and you concentrate what if you are engineering, architecture or another, another field. Because you have to understand that sometimes we must, we can have a passion, you know, but we don't have the talent to exercise that job. For example, there are a lot of people that are very passionate by, about Ferrari and Porsche because they love those cars. And because they love those cars, they want to become car designers. But the two things are not connected. They are not related. I have a strong passion for uh, uh, Formula One, but I don't give a shit to go and sketch uh, a Formula One car. 
Besides, I will not be able to make one because that's a pure engineering piece of art. Design doesn't have to do anything into competition, competition cars and stuff like that. So, if you have a strong passion in mechanics, a lot of people write to me, look at my sketches, you know, I know the engine, I know what type of, uh, how many cylinders, what type of suspension. I'm sorry, I don't care about that stuff. I don't care too much. That stuff is in, in engineering satisfaction, <laughs> how can I say, thing. It's not really something that uh, designers should be very passionate about. What I'm passionate is the, the styling, the design, the design thinking, the design process, the model making of an idea that I generated with a sketch when I had to follow a model, when I had the opportunity to work on special projects like, for example, the remote Tweezy. How do you make a Tweezy, a real car that can go on the road? So those are big challenges. And it's not a big challenge for me in, from the mechanical point of view. It's a big challenge in terms of design point of view. What trends, what marketing, what type of uh, 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 trends research I had to study, how uh, I can orientate eventually creativity to make sure that once we make that product, people will love that. And all sort of things that I cannot uh, tell you now because unless uh, we could talk for hours and uh, we don't have all that time. <laughs> but another thing very interesting is that once you have a feedback from someone that will tell you, you know what, I think you do have some talent. And this someone can be also design school. You go to a design school, there are sometimes there are the open days at design school just before they they start uh, enrolling people, you can go, you find teachers over there. And those teachers are available to, to see sketches or to sketch with you and tell you, give you feedback. Then you should uh, take information about the open day of those design schools. And then another thing that I must tell you, once again, there is no doubt that if you want to be a car designer, you must have a bachelor in transportation design from a design school and not from an engineering school. Engineering is for engineers. And that's normal. A doctor goes to medical school because he wants to become a doctor, not an engineer. And engineers go to engineering university to become excellent creative engineers but designers study design and therefore they have to look for a design school design college design university and when i hear a lot of people saying i want to make a master after engineering okay make your master but because you do one year as a master in car design does not give you the title of car designer. This is something that you have to understand and accept. Because one year of car design on special projects, few, one or two, it will never be like four years of car design of a full bachelor course. That's normal. Would I ask, would, would, can I call myself an engineer if I make one year of master in engineering, mechanical engineering, no. Probably I will understand some principles of engineering. And that's all. For cultural reasons. Because I want to, to have a bigger knowledge, which is okay. I'm not against that. So, now let's go back to getting the design school. Now, let's imagine you got your design school. Now, what age? I see a lot of people are saying, uh, my age is 17, my age is 35, 33, 50, <laughs> 100 years old. To become a car designer, the best age is 18, 19 years old. Because today, universities take people after the four or five years 
of your college, okay? Of uh, what in, in Italy is called uh, liceo. So it's four years. And after you start your university. So instead of doing university in another field, you do university in car design. And you start at 18, 19 years old. In some cases, you can start 20 years old. Okay? But that's the starting age. And once you do your three years, four years, or five years, according to the school, okay? According to the school, you will finish between 23, 24, 25, 27 years of age. And that's a good age to go and become a, Uh, get your uh, portfolio, final portfolio, to go and search for a job. That's an excellent age. Because when you are 23 years old, 24 years old, or 20, until 27, and you went through a design school which is tough, it's not easy. It's, uh, it implies a lot of responsibilities, discipline, constants, sometimes it's heartbreaking, Sometimes it's frustrating, lots of frustration, stress, lots of joy, you know, <laughs> your, your uh, mood goes up and down, then you gotta be strong to go through all that. And then there is the competition, because you gotta be very competitive, because all the design schools in the world, what do they do? They accept people that are very competitive. So the level, the quality, it's very, very high. Now, if you get out at the same day, three times a year, because the, according to semesters, like all the other people that are getting their diploma around the world, and there might be around 1,000, 1,000 per year, I guess, how do you think you're going to get a job? You must be very, very good. You know, you have to be very competitive. So your level has to be very high because when we are receiving your portfolios, you, yours, your colleagues, the one from the other country and from the other part of the world, we get portfolios, we look at portfolios. We don't care about CV at the beginning. We look at the quality, creativity, skills, creativity, skills. And when we find a portfolio that is really standing out with an excellent creativity, a very good portfolio, very nice composition, very nice projects, nice models, very good design thinking. And design thinking, you show it through sketches, okay? Sketches. So, we pick up that one and then we look at the CV to see if he did the right school, what school, which country, what age. And if the age is too much, for example, 28, 29, 30 years old, we won't take them. Not in the big company, not in the big design studio of big global company like Renault, uh, like uh, Fiat Chrysler, BMW, uh, Bentley, or I don't know who else, you know. Because it's normal that uh, there is a sort of a career path and you start a certain age to end up a certain age. And if at this age you arrive studying here, no one is going to take someone that has this age but asking him to start from the beginning. It's not possible. Besides, someone 30 years old, what type of, of a, a creative quality can have compared to someone that is a lot younger. My creativity, it's not, uh, it's not good. Look at this. This is not such a great creativity. I am 55 years old. It's normal. But when I was uh, uh, 26, when I started, 30 years ago, but that was different. I, I was a lot more creative. So it's normal that today, if I have a project in the company, of course, I ask for young designers that will help me in managing and in, in, in developing a project. 
So that's why the age is important. I know that everybody has a level of talent, but I'm very sorry. Sometimes these people all wake up or they just make the wrong choices. So their path is like that. And when they arrive at the right thing to do, it's too late. So I had to tell you the truth. I cannot tell you, he, you here. I cannot lie to you. Because if you read my articles, if you see the other videos that I made on this subject, you will see that I always say the same thing. I always say the same thing. I, I'm not inventing anything. I'm not changing. <laughs> you know? So, this is very important. And then once you get the right school, you get accepted, and you have a several design school to choose. And of course, I, you know that I think that uh, Art Center College of Design is one of the best. It's my school. I know really well. You know that CCS is also a very, very good school. I have uh, some very good friends that are managers uh, over there, uh, teaching over there. So I know the quality. Fourth time school in Germany is very good. But then there are also other schools like uh, Strat College in France. Uh, we have... Uh, uh, IED and IAAD in Torino, you know, uh, and a few other schools. Once you choose your school and you are accepted, then uh, you have those three or four or five years of school to make and you don't have to be uh, irresponsible. This means that from the beginning until the end, you have to sweat, you have to work hard. Because your objective is to make mileage, to work, work hard, sketch every day, do your projects the best you can. Because the more you do, the better you become. Don't wake up at the end of the year, of, of the, the, the bachelor years. A lot of people at the last year, they start going, searching for the quality of their design sketches. So when they show portfolios, you can see the old sketches are bad. And the only, the two last projects are good. We don't care about those. There is no consistency. There is no constants between the beginning and the end. The progression curve is not correct. So that's why I'm saying every time you start school, I know it's going to be, has to be intended a little bit like a nice uh, military service. You got to do it and do it well. Don't think because you have to, uh, just to sketch uh, a stupid uh, sharpener, who cares, I'll just do a quick sketch so the teacher will be happy. No, 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 no. You sketch 20 of those with your design, 20, and do nice sketches. Because the, the first sketch will be bad, but the 20th sketch of the same thing will be much better than the first one. All right? So... Uh, the objective, of course, is to make a final portfolio, to have the opportunity to make a, an internship, and also the opportunity, the most important, <laughs> to get a job. So I, I'm going to go and check on the computer your questions, your comments, so that I can answer. Uh, if you're an older person, maybe you can shoot for arts and graduate transportation program. It's not just about design. It's such a thing. Yeah, but that's a master, Mauro. Mauro Diaz, uh, I know very well who is in charge of, uh, of that uh, Art Center Graduate Transportation uh, program. That's a sort of a master. You can even make uh, prototypes. And there you can be an engineer that has a talent in car design. There, yes, that would be very useful because you can put your engineering background that you learned in university at the service of creativity in a small team working uh, with the nice projects that they make, uh, sometimes with Toyota, with the Honda, or with some American companies. I know, I know, I know this uh, very well. It's very nice, but of course, it's going to be difficult for you after that to say with a portfolio. I have uh, my portfolio. I want to be a car designer and be hired as a young car designer. It's going to be kind of difficult. Okay, so uh, SPD Milan University in Italy, it's a good one, but it's a master, okay? It's not a bachelor. Uh, do you know, do you chamber DC? No, I cannot say. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know this school. I don't know him. I know that he went to Art Center before me. 
Uh, I want to show my car design. Can you please see my design so I can send the design? Raul, it's very simple. I am a messenger and you can send me a PDF, okay? Light PDF. Don't send me something very heavy. If you send it me over there, I will just look at it. That's how a lot of people do. Um, thank you for... Uh, yeah, no problem, Mauro. Uh, hello, in Sweden, the good, the good one in Sweden is Umea. Umea University, okay? They have a bachelor and they have also a um, master program. That one is good. I know the guy that is uh, managing the department and I can tell you that he's very serious, very good. Uh, lots of uh, good facilities, excellent facilities. So you can make very nice models. Computer, everything. Go and check it out. Hi, Charlie. I agree 100%. It becomes more difficult to come up with unique concepts as you get older. Yeah, that's normal. That's nature. Getting old. <laughs> when I worked at the design, yeah, I found the younger people we hired learned quicker. Yeah, of course. It's true. It's true. Read uh, Charlie's comment. Uh, I, maybe uh, you're right, yeah. A master is in English, that's for sure. Because in Umea, I went to do, I went for few conferences uh, I made, a uh, few lectures, and I was also a member of the jury for the final exam. Uh, okay, I really hope that I answer, I answered kind of fast to your, uh, to your question. To the question. I hope that you got uh, some nice uh, information. For those that were late, I show you again what we did today. So this is a composition, right? Composition on page. We started from a very light uh, line work. We did a light line work for the whole tree. We did a sort of a background and then little by little I created a focal point on the main one and on the other one a little bit lighter so that we have a very nice Composition, I can show you like that, looks better, much better like that. Okay. Uh, to be honest, uh, digital rendering can be interesting, but you must put always your sketches, your manual sketches, okay? If you don't put, a lot of people don't put manual sketches, and we, we generally don't like that. In a portfolio, students should put your freehand sketches because it's there that we see your uh, design thinking process. It's with this stuff, okay? It's with this stuff. So if you don't put it, at least with me, you will never be accepted. You tell me the difference in car design engineering and car design. Car design engineering is how you put mechanical parts together, all right? in a new way, maybe thanks also to new technology. And the car design is uh, the overall design that has incorporated also the engineering part. So this means that design works with all, all uh, sort of colleagues to make a full car. The engineers, they work only on the engineering part, but we put everybody together because uh, the, the column, the, 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 the glue of all this, it's the design, the design, styling, interpretation, and functional interpretation. Um, uh, wait, someone wrote something. Uh, it's got cam or cars. I don't understand. What is cat cam or cars? Vine, what did you say? Why you tell? Why you running that? I don't understand. Hayush, hi. You have a question? I'm there. Only for a few more minutes. <laughs> After I have to go have my dinner. Okay, so last one. Sir, can you put a video for annual income? No. No, this is a stupid question. I'm sorry. This is a stupid question. I always get mad when people say, hey, do you make good money unless I change a, I change a major? 
Don't be a designer. You can be a designer only if you have a talent and passion for design rather than cars or products. To be a designer, not about the income. All right? And as I said, you start here and you can arrive up here in game. It all depends on you. So don't, uh, don't talk to me about money stuff. If I tell you how much money I was making at the beginning, you would cry today. And who gives a fuck? Who cares? I was doing the best job of my life. You think I was scared that I was, I didn't, I, I was not well paid at the beginning. I worked hard to, 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 to improve my situation. No. And that's what everybody does in every type of job. The most important thing is, do you love to be a designer, yes or no? If the answer is yes, if you have talent, just go for it. And then the mind will come after, later on. Okay. Portfolio, there is the video that we did last week. Go and check it out. It's all about portfolio, one hour and a half. So go and check that one. Okay. Ciao, guys. Thank you very much very much for your attention uh we will see next monday okay don't forget next monday we will be here and we will do something together again to have fun as we do usual all right all right ciao ciao mauro bye bye to texas and to all the people that were following <laughs> india mainly india there are a lot of people from india Ok, bye bye, ciao, grazie, thank you, bye.